Hello, my friends. Welcome back. I am going to play along with a hop today for Janet Fritz. She has a 2000 Sebi celebration. So we are hopping along and celebrating all things her. So let me show you the sketch. I am going to scrap lift from her and then go into a little bit more detail as well. So this one right here, I just saw it on her Instagram. She used it, it was day 27 of 30 days of sketches. She used a sketch from Scrappy Sisters. Um, so I'll be doing her layout of a sketch from them, which is super fun. So I see a nice border, pattern paper, pattern paper, pattern paper, some nice alphas down here, which I'm gonna have to grab some of them. And a just great photo cluster here and a cluster here with some torn bits. So that's super fun. Okay. So, and the bottom piece looks like vellum. That's really fun too. So let me show you. Um, oh, she said we could either scrap lift her, which I will do, or we can do a recipe challenge, which I'll also do, because why not? So for the recipe challenge, she said pattern paper. Got it. She said mixed media. Let me see. I have this and this and this and this in my kit. Ooh, I also have like this little paintbrush that fell off my desk that came in the kit that I'm using. So I'll talk about my kit in a second. So have mixed media, awesome. Um, inked edges, ta-da, we'll use these. And then die cuts or cut files. So I have all of these gorgeous pink fresh die cuts from Happy Heart. Uh, layers definitely will do that with the scrap lift enamel dots or sequins or slash sequins well here's the deal my kit has these glacier gems from pink Freshnet, so that's what i'm going to be using um stamping i will go and grab a little like simple stamp to bring into this that will be pretty easy peasy actually i have some where are they i had them sitting nearby. I know. I will grab these right here. These are from my Journal for Life current subscription kit. So I can use little butterflies or whatever. That'll be really cute. So let me get my stamp block at the same time. I'm going to grab a little tiny one since I want to use little ones. So I have that. Great. Um, dimensional alphas. I will have to bring some in for this kit or if I have enough pattern paper and whatever color, I can cut some out. Okay, the kit that I am using is a kit from this Happy Heart class that I took from Brianna Lepper, Brianna Nicole. She has her handle two different ways. And I took it at Erica Rose Creates um, in-person crop. So, and that was in March. So loved it, loved the collection, loved the goodies, new fresh saturated pinky pastel all that kind of stuff love all that stuff and so i scored a second kit because i'm smart to da so i have these pattern papers are what's left i have one cardstock left i've got lots of frames and puppies and then like i said i have all of these die cuts as well as some tangled thread and good bits left. So I have lots and lots of stuff to use. I even have some vellum and acetate left. So that's rather awesome. Oh, now let me show you my photo. This was a photo last March of my two boys out back. And um, there's my back doors right here. And then, you know, my whole yard and we have some woods, but in the spring, we don't have the leaves yet where we live. So you can look across and there's a very large church behind me and they just like to watch the cars. Now, once all the leaves come in, they won't have that opportunity because it looks like a wall of trees and it's great. Anywho, so that's what they were doing. They're just chilling, doing their thing. So I have that. Um, yeah, I have that going on, not a big deal. So I'm gonna create the background clusters and all that kind of stuff and I'll be back in a minute. So I'm just bopping along. I've got these pieces down and I did do a nice little bit of mixed media here. I've inked my edges on all of these pieces and my outer, or I'm sorry, my background. I haven't done the outer edge. Not sure if I want to because I like how crisp it is. Now I did have to pull in an alpha. This is a, I didn't even know I had these set of thickers called regards. 
I bought them in June of 2018, it looks like, and they are from 2012. And they're rather nifty foam alphas. So I'm going to have that for down here because I was supposed to use a dimensional alpha. I need to come in with a little bit of stamping, but I'm not quite sure yet. I mean, I can tell where I might need it here, but I don't know where I need it around my photo. And I have my little photo triple matted. So that's fun. They're kind of looking that way. So I'm going to have it a little bit off center. Great. Now I need to go through my die cuts, my frames, all my little goodies. Maybe I'll do some frames. I don't know. I'm going to go through these goodies and see how I can build out my cluster because uh, Janet had quite a nice amount of cluster work going here. So I'm going to keep playing, but I thought I'd catch you up. So check-in time. I have everything attached down that you see here. I still need to come in with my stamps. I still need to use my enamel dots, which will actually be gems. Now I have to look at my chipboard frame still and my puppies. I think I'm good with the um, with the die cuts, you know, may put in more, who knows. So I'm pretty happy as things are going. So I just have to, uh, yeah, play around a little bit and see what I think. Like I like this happy heart piece. And this is where I'm going to just start seeing what I can nestle in where and where things make sense and all that kind of stuff. I like the way my title came together. I think that was pretty awesome. So here we go. We have that going in the right direction. Family time's a little wonky. I like this little potted plant here. So yeah, this is what we're doing. We're just building it out a little bit more with our goodies and I, this might be my last, I don't know. I could do a whole layout with frames. I think I can get one more layout out of this kit that I have going on. I've been having myself so much fun playing with it. So let's see, happy little moments is cute. I mean, I have a lot of wordy bits. Ooh, look at this. Got this cute little bit right here. Oh, it all is kind of blending because I've used it so much. Ooh, I like it right here so I can, Bring that over a little bit more. I want to look at my chipboard bits. I got to get some stamping on and my little gems. So I'm going to keep playing along. See you guys in a minute. All right, I finished up. I went ahead and did some stamping with these cute little butterfly stamps in two different colors of ink, my two pink inks. So the large butterfly is a deeper tone and then the two smaller ones are another. I've got little wordy bits and then I have my little gems, which are taking place of my enamel dots. So that's what I have. I'll have links down below for where you can get your hands on this kit with Brianna, as well as everybody hopping along to celebrate Janet's big day. All right. Bye for now, friends.